Throughout history itself, humans have built a lot of technology. Some of it was simple, yet revolutionized everything, like the humble knife. Some of it was really complicated and also revolutionized everything, like a CNC machine. But now we also have boats with lasers. All revolutionary. But there has also been a lot of tech that changed absolutely nothing. Stuff that just makes you go, huh. Like a Tamagotchi, smart toasters, Chia pets, or USB pet rocks. They're just silly enough to love. So welcome to our new segment, Silly Tech. It's our celebration of the weird stuff. Today we introduce to you the Dream Recorder. This AI device advertises itself as a portal to your subconscious. This magical bedside device catches your nightly visions and plays them back as vivid cinematic reels. When I first saw that, I immediately thought, surely AI is not that far along already, right? Like, how does it know your brain activity or how can it tell that you're dreaming? I mean, how cool would it be to actually see your own dreams? Can the dream recorder really deliver on its marketing? How does it work? And is it just vaporware? Stick around as we find out and rank this new AI dream machine. Welcome to Business Goblin. I'm your host, Bugsy. If you're new here, we do business, marketing, and tech episodes, so subscribe, and let's get started. The Dream Recorder is not a simple device, and it's definitely not cheap, and we'll get to all of that later. But first, I want to tell you every aspect of this thing, including the initial vision. You see, the idea of recording dreams or tapping into them has been around for decades. It's been in movies since the 90s, like until the end of the world, but has existed as a concept for even longer. It's even been seriously attempted by major research projects. For example, as recently as 2023, Japan's ATR Computational Neuroscience Lab used IMRI scans and machine learning to reconstruct simple images that people saw in early stages of of sleep with about 60% accuracy. And there are dozens of these experiments you can find online. But those experiments relied on technology that most people don't have. MRI scans, brain machine interfaces, medical grade monitoring tools. The Dream Recorder tries to reimagine this for the everyday person. It says you don't need a neuroscience lab. We can visualize your dreams with tools you can access right now. And what it gives you is a physical object, not unlike an alarm clock that lives on your bedside table. But this isn't just a gadget. It's meant to be ritualistic. You wake up, you talk to it, and in return it visualizes what you dreamed. Imagine that being part of your morning routine Whenever your dream strikes, whenever you remember them vividly, you talk to this device and it shows you what your subconscious looks like. The Dream Recorder is just one in a line of surreal boutique products made by Amsterdam-based studio Modem. Modem has a history of building futuristic, poetic even, and sometimes really impractical devices. It's a kind of design-forward, sci-fi made physical mentality. And they've worked with top companies in the world using this sci-fi and practical approach, like Nike, Ikea, Google, and OpenAI. They're also weirdly self-aware. They publicly said that the studio doesn't want to exist after 2030, that every product they release is kind of like a time capsule, a reminder that even their work is temporary, and their creations even show that. The Dream Recorder feels less like a consumer device and more like an art piece with circuitry. Before this, for example, they released another product called Terra, another futuristic concept. Terra is a wandering companion, whatever that means. The pitch is really ethereal, designed with the science of AI and the wisdom of mindfulness. You're supposed to carry it, basically rely on it, so much so that you can get lost and trust that it can guide you home without necessarily needing to pull you out of the moment to do that. And that kind of creative logic powers the Dream Recorder too. It doesn't exist to solve a problem necessarily, it rather invites you into a new experience. So Modem is a boutique design studio through and through. Artsy, introspective, even over-designed in many ways. But to their credit, to make their creations reality, they blend many disciplines like programming, engineering, and design, fusing software and hardware into products many can't even imagine. 
So now let's talk about how to actually get your hands on a dream recorder, or should I say what it would take to make one? Because what I left out earlier is that the dream recorder is a DIY project. Remember when I said it wasn't a simple product? The Dream Recorder is not a simple device, and it's definitely not cheap. Well, the Dream Recorder is built for a very specific kind of person. Someone with multiple skill sets, a bit of 3D printing knowledge, a bit of programming, and just a general knack for plugging things in. A technological person, if you will. You see, the Dream Recorder is an open source product. It's not something you can buy on Amazon or pick up at a Best Buy. It's more like a blueprint, like a challenge, a very high effort product. But what does it really take to make one? Modem's approach here is complicated, but also kind of genius. They invented this technology, they created the schematics for it, the tutorials, and the documentation. Everything you need to build your own dream recorder. So why is that genius? Because most technology today is locked behind patents, licensing, or other corporate control often lost in time and never expanded upon. But Modem said, no, we're letting this one into the wild. And they did. Under their open source license, anyone can use it, remix it, or expand it. You can build a whole new item out of it if you want to as well. And while it's designed to be a dream interpreter, it doesn't actually have to be that. That's just one use case, which we'll talk about later. If you head to Modem's official GitHub, you'll find the parts list and everything you need to build one from scratch, which we'll link in the description. But that's where we hit a problem, the DIY trap. Because I don't know about you, but there aren't many people I know who casually own a 3D printer or know how to wire a Raspberry Pi, let alone both. For the homebrew tinkerer, this is a fun project. But for the average person, this is one hell of an ask. So let's talk about the price of the parts. The general cost to build the Dream Recorder lands between $285 and $345, depending on availability and ongoing sales. That is not exactly cheap. You'll have to buy a Raspberry Pi, which is like a mini computer, an LCD display, fans, HDMI cables, touch sensors, a microphone, and a, a bit more stuff. And yeah, you have to build it yourself. Oh, and the dream visualizing part, that's not free either. Using AI to process your message from speech into text cost about a penny, but rendering your dream will cost another 14 cents too. So even after all that work, this thing still charges rent. So what gives? Is this like a total waste of time? Have I sold you on a dream of a dream? Well, yes and no, because the idea itself is really exciting. Imagine going to an art exhibit where every piece of art is interactive, responsive to your imagination. Devices like this could enable that. I mean, sure, the dream recorder isn't that specific product yet, but it's a step towards it. Modem isn't just building gadgets here, I think they're prototyping a new kind of AI interaction, not just by typing or copying and pasting, but by talking, by engaging with AI that's built natively into the experience itself. So no, this isn't your mom's DIY project, but Modem does walk you through it beautifully. Their GitHub docs are surprisingly approachable, and after reviewing the entire assembly process, I can honestly say, if you're willing to spend an hour learning basics, you can build your own dream recorder in a weekend. But here's what else you should know. Once you build it, the dream recorder plays back your dreams as short video reels about five seconds long by default, and it can only hold seven of those dreams at a time for each day of the week. And that's due to the limited eight gigabytes of memory that the Raspberry Pi has built in. But you're not locked in. If you want longer videos, you can bring your own AI model. You want better speech recognition, you can swap in a different API. In fact, it doesn't even have to be about dreams. This could be a memory device, a story visualizer, a party game to create the coolest dreamlike reel, your creative prompt machine. But the most important question now is this. Did Modem actually deliver on what they promised? When I was writing this story, I felt conflicted because on one hand, I think the Dream Recorder is genuinely interesting and a really cool concept, a glimpse at what technology could become in the future. I mean, sure, we're all familiar with hardware, but now with AI, everything can feel different and a bit more natural with new experiences. We can speak to it, we can see it, it can evolve with us rather than just exist for us like our phones do today. 
but at the same time, it feels disconnected. The idea that I have to spend $300 and build it myself is a big ask. So here's my verdict. I think the Dream Recorder is somehow extremely lazy and overly engineered at the same time. Lazy because they hope you put it together, which means most people will never experience it. And yet at the same time, it's engineered in all the right ways. They wrote the code, they built the tutorials, they made the 3D models, handled the electronics, created the app to fuse the software and hardware together for you. But in spite of all that effort, I think it under delivers and over promises. It's the highest effort dream clock journal ever made. My biggest gripe is with the marketing because it paints a much more magical experience than the device can actually deliver. They claim to be the portal to your subconscious, but that all depends on you at the end of the day. You have to remember your dream. You have to assemble the product. You have to talk to this glowing box every morning. And I don't know about you, but when I wake up, the last thing I want to do is describe my dream to a box. Which, by the way, my dreams are so surreal sometimes, I can barely understand them myself. So a five second video reel, that can do it justice? I can't imagine that it can ever capture that strange nature of dreams in any authentic way. And there's a lot of opinions and reviews online saying the same exact thing about the dream recorder. Still, I don't think it's a gimmick like others are saying. I believe in this kind of technology, the idea of blending AI and hardware into something personal. But maybe it needs to be built for you, and maybe they can ship it to your house next time, and then at least more people can experience it if they want to. So with all that said, we're giving the Dream Recorder a C on our Silly Tech tier list. Take note of the Tamagotchi at A rank for scale. The Dream Recorder is a cool idea, but too much effort for not enough payoff. If they'd managed expectations better, I would have given it a B. But I feel like their marketing greatly overpromises what it can do because the Dream Recorder fundamentally is not a portal to your subconscious. I've been your host, Bugsy. This is Business Goblin. And if you like silly stories or serious ones, consider subscribing. We love talking about marketing, business, and tech in all corners of life. Let us know what you thought about this episode and would you build a dream recorder? Most of all, thank you so much for watching.